Hey data fans, Reed here. Today I'm going to show you how to use bookmarks to toggle the type of tooltip that would display for a visual. I was inspired to do this from a recent guided cube video where they show how to change what's displayed on the report tooltip page. Now I liked that idea and I wanted to see how you could instead turn off report page tooltips as you're seeing here. So let's go ahead and hop into Power BI and get started. So over here on the left you can see that there are a couple of buttons at the top for tooltip enabled and tooltip disabled. So I'm going to go ahead and show some highlights in here. If I hover over this at the moment, I have a report page tooltip that has a chart and a card. So I can basically just see some information about the data as far as the trend goes, as well as just some details below that. So that is my report page tooltip that I have over here on this hidden page that I built out. Now the goal of this is to show you how you can actually take the visual and basically choose whether or not this kind of report page tooltip shows, or if I go ahead and activate the tooltip disabled, click that. Here's another version of that table where the tooltip itself is disabled so you don't have that popping up anymore. And just like with a lot of other videos that I've done on bookmarking and buttons, there's so many different ways to use the visibility toggle to create a few different versions of a visual that you can then toggle in between. I've done previous videos as well where you actually have something like this as functionality, but instead what I do is I just change between different visuals. So this is a very similar process to that that I'll walk you through now. I'm going to go ahead and open up my bookmarks bar as well, and there you can see that we have a tooltip enabled and disabled. And if I open up my selection pane where I have these grouped for matrix table and buttons, that you'll see that there's a few different things in here. There are two versions of my sales detail in here, and as well a couple of versions of these buttons. And as I've done in other videos, what I basically have is two versions of this. That way when you activate one of them, the darker button is the one that is visibility toggled to on, and that essentially makes it look like it's been activated. And that gives it that nice effect between the two where you're very clear that this is the button that has been activated with the bookmark attached to it for either enabled or disabled. And we'll walk through just creating the bookmarks once. So right now we have tooltip enabled. I'm going to walk through the setup of having to create tooltip disabled. So right now, the table that is visible, sales details here, that is the one with the tooltips turned on. Now I'm going to set this up for the bookmark environment. So I'm going to disable this one, turn this one on, and as you can see, the one that is now visible does not have the tooltips enabled for the report page tooltip. And then I'm going to toggle the visibility of these buttons. There's two versions of each button with the same size and shape sitting on top of each other. So I'm going to disable the light one there, and I'm going to hide this one for the dark one. So now the enabled one over here is going to be just the light version showing, and then the opposite for here. I'll turn off the light version. You can see that that's disappeared. I'm going to turn on the dark version. So now the environment is set up to look like what I want it to be when I have disabled the report page tooltips for this visual. And the really nice thing is because this is all in a group here, all I have to do is select this, select the entire group, which selects everything underneath it. If I click Add, I'm going to rename this as Disabled test, there we go, and turn off a few things. I only need visibility on, so display is the thing that will toggle the visibilities. I don't care about filtering, so I'm going to turn that off. I do not care about current page, turn that off. And when I do selected visuals, that means that over there on the left, the matrix table selection that I've selected here, all of the things inside of it, that is captured as part of the selected visual selection. It makes sure that we don't accidentally update things for other visuals on our page. So I'm going to check that. And now we can go back to tooltip enabled, there we go. And if I click on my disabled test, it will take it back to the disabled state. And you've essentially seen for this one, it would be the same rinse and repeat process for tooltip enabled, hiding the associated buttons and visuals, and then just assigning them as an action in here. If I was actually to go to tooltip enabled, look at the format options in here, you can see the action is set for the bookmark of tooltip enabled and vice versa for the disabled one. But overall, this is just one of many ways, again, that you can utilize bookmarks. I love the number of diverse options you can have for a couple of basic formatting options for a visual. And the last thing I'll just show you here is for the sales details, the only setting that I did to remove the tooltips is I just went over to the format painter and I just made sure that I turned tooltips off with it on you actually have that report page tooltip that's been configured. So I just disabled it to get rid of that pop-up as the disabled option. But overall, another quick and easy way to utilize bookmarks and just another clever solution to a small change that you can make for a visual and then have two versions on top of it with a button to basically toggle on and off this feature. Please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. Now, if this is your first time to my channel or you want to see more of these awesome videos, please click that subscribe and notification button. Also, feel free to show your support by becoming a channel member. Last but not least, you can download the file for today's video from my blog files page using the link down below. So until next time.